Hi guys, we're outdoors because Reddit Robot suggested I should do a water-powered car or an air-powered boat. Well, I've done air-powered cars and water-powered boats, but not the other way around. So I've dug out one of my old cars, which was an air-powered car, and I've modified it a little bit. All I'm going to do is fill up a plastic bottle with some water, well not fill it up, partially fill it with some water, then pump it full of air and see if that pushes a good enough jet of water out the back to push the car forwards. And because that's going to be messy and wet, we're doing it out the back. First attempt, I've got a small plastic bottle here. I've put a map pin in the bottom, that's where the water will come out. And I've got a car tyre valve in the top which I'll use to pump it up with air. So that's why it's only half full with water because we need some space for the air to go in so that it can actually push the water out. In fact I may have too much water in there anyway. But we'll see how we go. So I'll strap this to the top of the car with some rubber bands. Like that. I'll pump some air in it and then we'll let the pin out and see if it goes. Might have a problem there because the pin's fouling the back axle. Still, let's see what we can do. Well, that worked fine. So we're about half full. And that worked. Let's swap the bottles over.
Well, I'm glad I'm doing this outside, not in the kitchen. But they both work. Clearly that one's still spraying at the end there, so it'll go further. But the smaller one had a faster acceleration, I reckon. Still, that was fun. <laughs>